Greetings. Um, someone recently suggested that I start a video blog and I've never done that before. This is my first attempt. So I hope it works and I hope it's useful. Um, welcome to our cottage here at Haviland. Haviland is a, uh, a small rural village about, uh, I'd say about 25 kilometers north of Sault Ste. Marie. It's where our cottage is, but it's also a winterized house, so this is where we will retire and uh, hopefully be able to uh, have ministry here as well as uh, continuing on with the work of Calvary Road in Cuba. Well, we would love it if, uh, if some of our friends from Toronto could come and visit us occasionally here. If you want to do it this year, you've got to do it before Labor Day weekend because that's when we're coming back to Toronto. But uh, you know what, just take uh, eight hours of driving. Uh, it's a bit further than uh, Muskoka, but uh, I would say it's worth a drive. Anyway, we would welcome you. We've got a large backyard where you can pitch a tent, or we've got an extra bedroom and a few extra beds. We've got a lot of floor space as well, so uh, everyone is welcome. And we would just love to uh, host, host you if you decided to come and visit here. I thought I would mention a couple of projects that we're involved in here. First of all, we have to insulate our attic as we get it ready for the harsh and cold winter that uh, this area of Toronto, uh, Ontario is, is used to. Uh, I have to repair the well, uh, which will start on tomorrow. Got some concrete blocks and we're going to lay some block and hopefully waterproof the cistern so that uh, we don't get any ground water seeping into our drinking water. A lot of small stuff to do. As you know, if you own a house, there's always something to repair. And especially an older house like we have, uh, there are a lot of little things that need to be maintained. Well, what are we looking forward to in terms of ministry uh, at our church? Someone recently asked me, so what are your plans for your final year of ministry at Calvary, I'm sorry, at uh, Chinese Gospel Church? And uh, I said, you know, in the seven years that we've been there, We've never really done a series on prophecy, and I really think that that's an important topic. Although it's not a, a topic that is essential to salvation, neither are a lot of other top, topics that I've preached on. And um, I think it's important that we talk about the hope that we have in the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and his soon return. And so we're going to talk about that. You realize that a lot of people dis prophecy because they don't think there's any practical value to it. What what use is there in speculating about the end times? Well, every passage that speaks about the end times, at least in the New Testament that I'm aware of, there's always a practical side to it. And uh, seeing as we have this hope, we purify ourselves, the Bible says. So we're always encouraged to be motivated as we think about the last days. And that's what I hope to do as we talk about prophecy and the fulfillment of that prophecy. So that's one of the topics that I'd like to cover in this last year. Another topic uh, that will be running um, at the, not at the same time, but uh, prior to that will be uh, a series of messages, actually lessons on Daniel in our adult CE class. And Daniel, of course, is also very prophetic. And so we'll be looking very closely at uh, some of the issues that arise from the study of the book of Daniel. But before we do that, uh, in our sermon series, we're going to look at the pastoral epistles, the Timothy letters and also uh, the letter to Titus, to see just how God instructs us with relationship to church and leadership in the church. So that's where we're going, uh, hopefully, and uh, we trust that the Lord is leading. Uh, I hope that this video blog finds you uh, blessed and uh, encouraged, and we will see you in a couple of weeks when our vacation ends and are uh, raring to go in terms of uh, just jumping back in with both feet uh, on Labor Day weekend. Thank you for listening.